Welcome back to how to solve your Rubik's Cube in five steps. This is step five, the final step in solving your Rubik's Cube, and this is permuting the last layer. So uh, in the last lesson, which if you want to see and all the lessons before it, I am putting the links down in the description down below. Uh, in the last lesson, I told you that the completely yellow face step was orienting the last layer to orient the pieces uh, of the yellow pieces in the correct uh, direction, to point them in the right direction, to orient them correctly. Now this time, we're going to just call this the last step in the common vernacular, but in Rubik's Cube terms, this is permuting the last layer, and I'll tell you why. Because when you have something like this, when you have a completely yellow top and a completely done first two layers, but you have this little band around here wrong, that means that you have a permutation. It's a certain scenario that you can get when you've gotten a completely yellow top and a completely done two layers. There are 21 scenarios that you can have as far as this band around here. And those are different permutations of it. So now what we're going to do is we're going to permute the last layer, move the pieces around so that it is completely done. We're not going to mess up the yellow. We're not going to mess up the white. We're not going to mess up really anything that we have right now, but we are going to fix these pieces around here. Okay. So now I'm going to tell you a little something else that we need to know before we get started. See this thing here. These are headlights. You see how uh, we have everything except for this one little piece in the middle here done? Well, those are called headlights, okay? So um, if you have two corners the same color on the same face, then those are called headlights. So what we want to do when we've just finished uh, solving this yellow face, uh, but we don't have the band around here done yet, what we want to do is we want to look for headlights. So, okay, here are some. However, if you can't see any headlights, don't think I'm crazy. Just uh, just do what I'm about to do from any angle. If there are no headlights, it doesn't matter how you hold the cube. Just keep the yellow on top and perform the algorithm that I'm about to show you. Okay? So now that you have found your headlights, put them in the back so that the air facing away from you. They're going away from you. Sorry about that. Um, and then once you have done that, perform this algorithm. Lowercase l prime u r d2 r u prime r prime d2 r2 and then once you've done that you'll have headlights all around like this see headlights everywhere so um you may get something where you have a complete face so like green all around but um, you can get a case like this where you don't have a completely done face. And like uh, where I said, if you couldn't find any headlights, it doesn't matter where you hold it, just perform the algorithm. Well, this is what I uh, am saying to you now for this. If you can't find a completely done face like you would normally have, it doesn't matter. Just perform this algorithm from anywhere and you will get a completely done face and then you can perform the algorithm with that in the back. Okay? So... Now that you have this, headlights all around like this, I want you to perform this algorithm. M2. Ah, what did he just do? Well, let me show you. Okay, so these are M moves. Spinning the middle like this. These are M moves, okay? So this algorithm involves M moves, but don't be too intimidated. They're actually fairly easy to pick up. You just have to practice it a little, okay? So I repeat, the algorithm is M2 u m and m is kind of weird you have to kind of push with your pinky finger like this like that okay so let me start over the algorithm m2 u m u2 m prime and that's a really easy m move you just push it with your pinky finger u M2. And then, see, just like I said, we have a completely done face, like this, like we want it. So then, once we have that done face, we put that done face in the back, like we did with the headlights earlier. Okay? So now, we perform that same algorithm again. M2, U, M, U2, M prime, U, M2. And now we may have to perform it one more time, which we do. So let's do that again. M2, 
u m u2 m prime u m2 and there you have it you have completed your rubik's cube so uh, as I've said in all the other tutorials, if you're having problems with this lesson or you're not getting the algorithms down right and you're just messing the, up the cube, that's okay. Just go back and practice it again. So if you're at the last move and you somehow manage to mess up this algorithm and you completely messed up the cube and you've messed up your white cross and now you're going to have to start all over, good lord, who wants to start all over solving the Rubik's Cube? Well, that's fine. If you have to, if you actually did mess up the algorithm, then that means that you could stand a little more practice. So it won't hurt you to practice it. Okay. So if you're having problems with understanding something, just go back, rewatch the video, and try it again. Just try, try again. Okay. So I hope that this video tutorial series has been helpful for you. If you have any comments or questions or tutorial suggestions or anything, just comment down below and I'll oblige you. If you want to see any of the previous tutorials, those will the links for those will also be down in the description. Um, thanks for watching. Happy cubing!